Guy belated, belated Happy Father's Day. I assume you had she a great well. day. She was well. Yeah. Yeah, she thank was well. You. Thank yeah. you. All good? It was, it was great. We, we belonged to a local pool. My kids made me go down the slide, so I had to wait in line you know, behind like eight-year-old kids to go down the slide. Um, but, you know. <laughs> Hold on, you're not, first of all, there were, there were plenty of parents at that pool that were looking at you online with their kids that were horrified. Um, you know, and I said that to my daughter, I'm like, you have to understand something. If, if I'm one of these, can't do that I'm anymore. watching this, and I'm you like, can't. that's really creepy. So I, I, kept a, I kept a great distance between me and the, the right. kids online. And when the line subsided, I, you know, I snuck up the ladder and went down, you know, the, the, the twirly cue. Slides. Yeah, no, the twirly cue, yeah. the twirly cue. And, and look, I'm going to have to ask this question, too. Please tell me you weren't wearing something in like a Speedo or. Um, no, 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 no. Come on. I, I mean, that's you know, the answer to that. You say that knowing the answer. You just put it out there just to create, you know, fodder, Internet well, fodder. Yeah, look, I mean, and, and if you did, obviously, then I'd need to know exactly what you were, you know, kind of because I have a friend of mine. He's from Europe and he and he he, he claims this is the reason. But I mean, he wears like a flesh colored speedo and, and it's awful i mean it, it and and, he, and he's, he's 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 from greece right so he's like dude like he looks at me like i have three heads and that i'm a typical american you know prude anyway so did you get um i'm guessing look if, if i'm you and and i'm pulling for a father's day present i'm hoping that maybe i got the uh, the aerosmith rocks eight track sure. tape, um that you've been looking for uh, back or, in the or, day yeah or, i know or, you had or, or yeah. flesh for fantasy, if you want to go. That. I mean, that was wasn't <laughs> that a Billy Idol Bowie. record? That's, oh, oh yeah, flesh for fantasy. <laughs> that's that's Billy Idol, dude. You weren't listening to Billy Idol. You were listening no, to Aerosmith. No, I was not. And, I was not. And you, the, you know, I actually had the uh, Queen "Night at the Opera" eight track. Tremendous, uh, uh, unbelievable. Coast. I mean, to coast. yeah, coast, coast to coast. That it's that's a. I like what you did there. A top ten album of all time, without question. And, you know, listen, yep. albums are it, man, as you know. Well, you know, it's, it's funny you say that because today is uh, yet another anniversary that we decided to point out today. Uh, take a guess, speaking of albums. I mean, you know, what like do you got? Anniversary. What came out? So it's the summer. Back um, so in 1948, we actually had the birth of, of the vinyl album that we know today. So I guess... You know, the Victrola and whatnot had been around. Well, and Yeah, I was going to say, but I mean, I, my th so maybe the modern vinyl, sort of the 33 yeah. and a third hey, vinyl. There, there you go, because because yeah. while I know I collected 45s growing up, too, I had a sweet Bay City Rollers Saturday night, uh, 45. Um, yeah, look, that was that was more for our parents. That was the 60s. You went down to the mall shop. Uh, you listed some 45s in the jukebox. But the vinyl, basically album as we know it, the 33 and a third RPMs uh was, was launched and and what's amazing is is that vinyl is is back and and in fact it's become kind of trendy i have all my vinyl uh the vinyl i showed up with freshman year georgetown when when uh, i the first thing i did was i moved in i set up my stereo uh and and started cranking some dire straits that's right dire straits first album make, and dire straits first out I, I tell you those first three or four communique making movies unbelievable by the unbelievable. way unbelievable Unbelievable. The Gletts walked across the hall. Yeah, that's my 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 roommate, Tom Glettner, but it wasn't my roommate at the time with a feather earring coming down from his from his ear. Uh, looked like he had just gotten off the set of, of basically the surfer dudes from Fast Times at Ridgemont High. And, you know, the rest was history. But we bonded over my vinyl. Um, what's old is new again. Uh, vinyl seems to be what what we, we can appreciate again, because the the audio, uh, the spectrum, how shall we say that, that you. you get with a vinyl? Well, I mean, it's it's significantly better than that CD that actually the irony is that in college, it was within a year or two that I started buying CDs for every piece of vinyl that I had. And then some uh, before we've come back to appreciate what is new again. Think about oh. how difficult that was to try to replace. And, and I, I can remember thinking about this. I'm like, shit, I, I didn't I used a worse word than that. But I'm yep. going to have to replace all my albums with these things. And then you go and painstakingly try to go back. And and that took years. And then you get up to this, you know, 600 CD collection only to right. see it just, you know, go so, away. So, so, so think about that. So replacing old and, and the burden. Of, of, of actually figuring out what is new and replacing old stuff and, and essentially building that new infrastructure. Guy, this morning, 
uh, the the resource stocks and the infrastructure stocks seemingly Look at what you did. Are, yeah, yeah, are on fire again. And I don't really have a reason for it because I don't think that there was any discourse out of D.C. over over the weekend that gave us more confidence in this. But I, I, I think you have a case here where, look, um, we all know what. Let's not rehash the Fed. Um, I do think you've got a case where a lot of that stuff was so overdone last week. Uh, the moves, and I don't mean just in core commodities, but I do mean in the commodity companies. And, and I think it's interesting to see that, that is this a bounce? Is this a reassessment? Uh, again, you got through, uh, traders know that we had uh, a, a major options expiration on Friday on top of a big Fed week. There was a lot of mumbo jumbo into the close. And I think, you know, that, that may have had something to do with it. I like that, the mumbo jumbo. I have zero explanations today. I think your, your comment just now about the Friday quad witch or whatever it was, you know, the, yeah, the aftermath, witch. maybe today, maybe that's who knows. I'm not going to pretend to know. All I know is, you know, the if, if you're into vinyl, if you live out in Long Island, apparently like vinyl siding and those PVC fences is oh, all, brutal. is as they say, it's the rigor. So it's, and I'm looking at it left. Nah, dude, dude, dude. Well, first of all, you're picking on Long Island. Um, I think anyone that's going vinyl siding, uh, obviously has four micro countertops as well. And, and I don't, I don't think that's happening. By the way, the, remember the band, the Divinals? Remember that? Of course the, I do. Uh, they, hold on. They, don't say it. Don't say it. I touched myself was their big hit came out. Hold on. I'm going to give you a year. Wow. 1993. Wow. You might want to go to your Google machine. I don't have my Google machine in front of me while, while you do that. If you can, I don't know if you got your Google. I, machine I'm going to go, I'm going to look it up right you, now. So, so, so the lead singer, uh, first of all, I don't know what they were singing about. I don't know what she was singing about, but she was kind of a, a uh, she was a she was a hot mess. That one, um, uh, Chrissy, Chrissy Amplet, something like that. I think is the lead singer for the Divinals. And it's a great poll. I don't think they. I, I mean, I'm not sure that they did anything after that. Um, I think they're an Australian band, um, and I think you know we 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 thought of her as the modern Chrissy Hine, but nobody replaces Chrissy Hine. Um, Australian obviously. rock band formed in 1980. Chrissy Amphlett, great job. Mark McEntee. No um, idea. Hold on, no idea. But I will tell you the discography. Desperate came out in 1983, and they're under Divinals. Divinals, which was I think the I touch myself the self was on that. Yeah, 1991. Self. So I I came close, close, but no cigars. Ballpark. They say. Well, guy, I think we're. Yeah, we, we're, we're desperate to get out of here. But uh, I think the theme for this week is old is new again. And, and don't be surprised if the market that we had the week before the Fed is the one we have this week. All right, pal. Happy Father's Day.